My initial diagnosis was in May of 2014 as a stage 1B from a mole on my back. Um, had my wide excision done and then I had my lymph nodes checked. I had a couple checked in my armpit and in my groin. They came back negative and had my surgery and I was good to go. And then um, about 11 months later, I found a mass on my side. Um, I thought I had done something at the gym and the working out. And I saw a couple doctors, had an ultrasound, and then long story short, I ended up getting a biopsy for my peace of mind. And my peace of mind turned out to be stage 3C melanoma. And it was a reoccurrence. When I had my first diagnosis, um, I didn't know very much about melanoma, even though you know, you kind of you learn things here and there, but you know the details are not great. Um, so the first time it was a whirlwind. I was cured. I was fine. They sent me on my way. Now here we are, the second time, and now I have to really figure out what's going on. In that initial testing of that tumor, I did find out that I was BRF positive. They did do that testing immediately, so I knew that. When I saw the surgeon, I was immediately. Um, given options of having that lymph node dissection, but then the options for treatment after surgery were limited and it started becoming talk of clinical trials. And then I had to put my thinking cap on and figure out what was best for me and what chances I had of preventing this from happening again. You have to fight for yourself. It's important to understand your diagnosis and the options available to you so that you can move forward in the best possible plan. Melanoma research in the past few years has grown exponentially and will continue to grow. Uh, the ability for researchers to develop these new drugs and test them in us has given opportunity for everyone to have access to healthcare that was impossible 10 years ago. So I can only imagine what it will be in the next 10 years and how we are working towards making melanoma a very curable disease.